Hello my beautiful Virgos and welcome to your late October love reading. I just did a quick pre-shuffle and look what you've got. Spirit is saying that you're kind of sticking to your comfort zone right now. You've got the socks and it says that you're in your hermit mode. It says uh, life can't always be lived to the fullest being a homebody. Don't let your socks stop you from feeling the grass. So you're living life on the sidelines at the moment and the very next card is the masculine card and it's encouraging you to be decisive and take some form of action. Okay, so you need to get out more. At the moment you're sticking at home, um, you are probably not in the mood to mingle. Um, interesting, what else is going on for Virgo? In late October, show me what's happening for Virgo in their love lives, please. What is happening for Virgo? A whole lot of not much by the sounds of it. <laughs> no, come on, let's show me. Show me what is happening for Virgo in love. What I'm being shown with this fertility card you know, obviously it talks about pregnancy, but what I'm getting from spirit is um, there was a connection that never that never kind of reached its full potential. You know, that's what I'm getting. It never got born. <laughs> See, look, they're showing me being at home you're around family but there's not a lot of action happening in the romance sector is what i'm feeling okay yeah so i feel like a lot of you are either preoccupied with family matters um and we've got money so preoccupied with career as well all right well let's see if there's anyone interested in you or if you are interested in somebody, but you're not taking any action towards them. Angels and spirits, show me. Yeah, look, I feel like where I cut the deck, page of pentacles, there was someone, but it never matured into anything more than just a fling or a crush. Page of pentacles. It never got beyond the initial stages of attraction. Let's see. Knight of Wands. I feel like there could have been a moment of passion, but it was fleeting. You could have had desire for this person. They could have had desire for you, but it was a passing type of thing. The chariot. They were just passing through, or you were just passing through. Could have been dealing with a cancer. Doesn't have to be, though. That's the chariot. Um, let's see. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You guys didn't communicate. You, you weren't um, wanting the same thing. You weren't on the same page. Show me more about this person that was interested in Virgo or that Virgo was interested in. Someone could have been double handling is what I'm hearing and I just saw the two of pentacles. The moon. I feel like the two of you didn't really know what the other person wanted. You were kept in the dark about each other's intentions. Show me more please about Virgo and their person of interest. Late October 2021 please. The Chariot, again, the High Priestess, that's Pisces energy, but it's also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like um, with the Moon card that came out before, along with the High Priestess, you both weren't very transparent with each other. You weren't expressive. We have the Nine of Wands. It could have been due to trust issues or possibly one of you um, 
just knew that this probably wasn't going to last because the high priestess is intuition right one of you wasn't open to a happily ever after or a commitment because we have the nine of wands next to the ten of cups one of you might have had a long-term relationship that um broke your trust and now you're just skeptical it, it there was an imbalance within this connection we have the justice in the reverse we have the lovers in the reverse i do feel like there could have been an interfering third party so one of you could have still been holding on to someone yeah we have the two of wands so that kind of that is just reinforcing two of wands is it can be in a love reading someone's holding on to one wand while kind of entertaining another wand right and I did see the two of pentacles while I was shuffling. But there was good potential here. There was solid potential with the ace of pentacles. But I feel like it never got grounded. You know, the ace of pentacles is like a coin. And a coin flips both ways, heads or tails. This is a seed. It depends on whether you plant it and water it and nurture it. Um, as to whether it will go all the way to the ten of pentacles. And in this case, I feel like it fell over. Yeah, someone wasn't ready. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone wasn't ready to offer like something stable. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like someone was trying to release something. They had to release something before they could open up to this new opportunity. And with the six of wands, it's it's like one of one of you was entertaining other people. You were getting attention from other people. You were enjoying, you know, other options. And so things just came to an end. We have the world. It's possible that once things came to an end. Once you wrapped things up with this person, you might have realized um, that it was a missed opportunity and that this person had potential because we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is someone who invests and this is someone who's worthy of investing in. Next to the Four of Cups, missed opportunities. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like one of you was too independent, um, maybe too focused on work. Um, and then the other person didn't mind feeling a bit um, deprioritized or didn't mind feeling neglected because they were entertaining other people. Basically, I'm getting rebound energy. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling rebound energy. I'm also feeling communication that was quite um, inconsistent with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. There were too many, um, it was too long between calls, too long between messages, and the two of you could have just drifted apart because we have the Tower in the reverse. So there wasn't a big blow up, there was no argument, there was no, you know, there was no conflict, but the tower in the reverse, it suggests that the two of you just drifted away. Um, yeah, I'm getting that one of, one of you in this connection was more open to this than the other. Because look at the imagery in these two consecutive cards. So it's like the female within the connection was more open and trying to offer the male... Um, a cup of love and he's he's already out the door that's kind of like the chariot energy and then in this card the female again is offering and i feel like the female is the queen of pentacles is offering this man here um the ace of pentacles a solid offer you know the, the seven of pentacles is this man's energy do i want to take this or do i want to leave it do I want to go off in search of greener pastures or do I invest in this person? Well, I feel like the decision was made. Um, there was too much procrastination and I feel like the two of you just drifted apart. 
Okay, that's what I'm getting. Let's see what, Virgo, your advice is. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Virgo's advice in love in late October 2021. What is Virgo's advice? Apart from get out more. <laughs> Apart from get out more, what is the advice for Virgo in late October 2021? Hide and seek. See, you have been hiding. It's time to seek. Seek out what you want. Yeah, this card is saying you're hiding yourself behind an image that other people see. Show yourself and don't hold back. If others can't see your beauty, that's their missed opportunity. Seek out people who appreciate you for who you really are. They will be searching for you too. All right, let's see. Angels and Spirit, show me what is the advice for Virgo in love in late October 2021. Why am I getting that some of you didn't feel up to the task? You didn't feel worthy of, of this person? You felt suspicious of this person? Because I feel like you were the one that um, turned this Ace of Pentacles down. But Spirit is saying you're perfect, you know, as you are. Um, and whatever has brought you to this exact moment in your life has been a set of perfect events and influences. So whenever you're doubting and whenever you have a case of woulda, shoulda, coulda syndrome where you're looking back on the past and you're thinking, maybe if I'd done that and maybe if I had been better at this relationship, I'd still be with that person. You know, that is all just a waste of energy. You needed to go through those experiences to learn what you do and don't want in relationships and to learn how to be in a committed relationship. So whenever you're feeling anxious or worried, you need to remind yourself that you're perfect who you are, where you are, experiencing exactly what is at hand. I feel like you weren't open. You were the one that was not open to this connection. We've got open or closed. So I feel like this person kind of just... Um, they, they just left the building because you weren't giving. Um, you weren't letting this person in. You weren't taking a chance and opening your heart. Um, I feel like you were worried about getting hurt. Um, we've got actions speak louder than words. There's something that you need to do. You have to go after what you want, Virgo. That is the strong advice that I'm getting in this reading. Based on the first two cards, you know, you had the sock and you had um, be decisive and take action. And the card is also saying, look at the situation objectively and you will see with clarity. What did this person do? How did they trigger your fears of not being ready? How did they trigger your fears of not being worthy of love? Why were you blocked in this connection? Why did you feel like um, you couldn't go after this or be open to it? Say it. There's a need for communication. And you've got the commit card and it says... Know what you want. Believe you deserve it. Okay. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to use this new deck. Power of choice. This is about you needing to not stick to your comfort zone out of a fear of getting hurt. Denial. So you're prolonging your own suffering by being in denial, maybe over a past relationship that you're still clinging on to. Um, or just you're denying yourself of love is what I'm feeling. I just feel like maybe you're not in a good place emotionally. You might have been a little bit down and depressed. Because we've got devoid of light. 
You're depriving yourself of love is what I'm strongly getting here, Virgo. Yep. Same cards being shown to me. Now, you can keep doing what you're doing in hermit mode, but you're, you're eventually going to hit a wall. We've got the dead end card. So you can either start picking yourself up out of this rut, or you can wait until the tower happens in your life and spirit drags you up out of the rut. And sometimes that can be very uncomfortable. You need to choose. You need to make a decision. Otherwise, the universe will make it for you or other people will make it for you. You need to start taking responsibility for your life. If you're not happy, do something about it, okay? This card is about the need for you to get unstuck in love. All right. There's denial again. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties, and then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So what are you in denial about? What is the advice for Virgo in late October 2021, please? See, you need to let joy into your life. Stop living life on the sidelines and go out and seek happiness. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savour it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and the easy times and keep surrendering to more joy. See, you're not open to love at the moment. You've got surrender to receiving love and support. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. I feel like you're suffering from a bit of martyr syndrome at the moment, Virgo. You just think that... Um, you, you have to go it alone, that, you know, you're destined to live a life solo and you can't trust anyone to do right by you and this and that, you know, victim mentality, right? Um, but there are people who want to love you. There are people who want to support you. So you just need to be open to receiving that, okay? You've got surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. So at the moment, you're kind of just bleak. You, you have a bleak outlook. Um, but you need to uh, surrender to miracles, let go of any resistance and banish any doubts that miracles can happen for you. Okay. So I hope that this reading was helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye Virgo.